Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This is going to be my first pressing video. I've been pressing comics now for a little while and uh, been practicing a lot on uh, free comic books and dollar bin books and I thought I would uh, take a chance at a book that has some value recently. This is Chariot Number 1 from Artists, Writers, and Artisans, uh, the AWA Upshot imprint. This is issue number one from Brian Edward Hill, Priscilla Petraitis, with an awesome cover from Jeff DeCall. Now, uh, one thing I noticed with this book is it had a little bit of impact damage uh, from when it was received down in the bottom right corner. So I'm gonna take it out of the bag and board. And I gave this book a 9.2. So, you know, uh, can I press it all the way up to a 9.8? That's where we're gonna find out in this video. All right. So this really is the issue right here, right there. Uh, impact damage right on the corner, pretty severe. It's possible that it can be pressed. Um, it looks clean otherwise. Uh, now looking back on it, um, not exactly sure why I gave it a 9.2. You know, maybe it's a 9.4 by itself. A uh, little bit of edge wear on the corner. You know, it's possible right there. That that could have been another reason right there on the, the corner. Try to get it in there. Anyway, um, regardless, I don't feel like this is a 9.8, with uh, especially with that corner. It's just, uh, it's, it's just a, not a 9.8. Let's see if I can get it right in the light there for you. You can see, because I, I definitely want to see a before and after on that corner. Okay, I think we've seen the corner. Now, um, fantastic cover. Uh, looks like a movie poster. Um, really no other scratches or, or wear um, that I can see. So, um, we're going to give it a shot. We're going to press this out and see what we can do. Uh, now, that's a pretty, pretty nasty dent right in the corner. Uh, but let's see what the, the press can do. Um, I think I gave it a 9.2 because if I'm looking right, it uh, the impact goes through every page there. So that's the problem right there. Um, so that's part of the problem. So let me get rid of this and talk about what I'm going to use to press. I have three magazine boards. I have two 65 pound cardstock, one for each side of the cover, and two sheets of silicone release paper, SRP. I use uh, steel plates, uh, one top and bottom, obviously. And so I'm gonna walk you through prepping the book and making that. So the first thing I like to do is open up right to the centerfold and examine the staples. These staples are, they're pretty much flush with the book. Um, so that's good as far as um, not needing an extra magazine board. And I always kind of just let gravity do its thing. I don't push down on it, just kind of let it sit in there naturally and kind of work my way through the book to that back cover. Just switch hands, open up the front and keep holding it down on the spine and just gently placing the paper in there. Again, not shoving it in, just letting it just naturally sit. There's no uh, Marvel digital code inside because all right, and then I set these aside. Um, you've got the, the glossy side that's going to go against the book. Uh, SRP, magazine board, uh, one for each side. I just use one. I'm using uh, um, steel plates with the magazine board, so I don't feel like I need any additional uh, padding on each side. I want the heat to get through. And pretty much the book is ready to go. Um, you know, I can go ahead and lay this down here, glossy side down on the book. And when I go to put this in the press, I will make sure that the glossy side faces the book. So essentially, with this plate, I'm going to be able to put it like that. So everything's ready for the press at this point. All right, it's time to heat up the press. We're going to do 150 degrees for 10 minutes on the book. Um, I have a 2C clamshell style press. Um, I've 
already got the other plate right underneath. Uh, it's always unplugged, so I'm going to plug it in, turn it on, and I'm going to push it down and let it warm up. I'll press enter because we're just warming up the press to 150. Let's make sure it's set at 165. I'll take it down to 150. And we're going to do 10 minutes. Still warming up to 150, and then once this gets to 150, we'll go ahead and place the book in here. Now, the that impact damage on the corner, it's really not necessarily, um, you know, more prevalent on the front or back. Uh, typically, if the issue exists on the back, you're going to put the back uh, cover up uh, facing up, but in this case, it's kind of going all the way through. So it's heating up pretty quick. Um, I've had some pretty good success with this press. Um, definitely gets out you know, your basic spine curling and uh, also just uh, any kind of slight divots or indents. Um, you know, anything severe, um, I haven't had too much luck with it. I have not done really any, any spot or humidity yet. I'm still uh, very much a beginner. So it's really not necessarily uh, how to press um, that I'm walking you through, but more of uh, how I'm learning how to press and, and some of the, the things that I'm encountering as I go. And um, hopefully you can see my lessons learned, some of the mistakes that I make, and uh, you know, use them to hopefully make your uh, uh, pressing process a little bit better by seeing some of the issues that I encounter and, and certainly um, just making making note of, of some of the mistakes and variations I I, uh, I use with pressing. All right, so we're almost ready to go. I'm going to start to get ready to move the uh, the comic stacking sandwich off, and we're good there. So what's nice about this press is it will uh, it will start the uh, timer as soon as the lid closes. So I'm going to pick up the stack and move it over. I'm going to open up the press. Very warm. I'll lay the backing board inside. Glossy side up. Fresh sheet, fresh sheet of SRP. Going right on top of that. Straighten it out a little bit. And then I will gently lay the book right inside there. Let it go. And then I'll take my other plate, flip it over, and put it right over the book, and lower the press, putting gentle pressure so that I can close it very easily. And then I just leave it for 10 minutes. So the timer's counting down to 10 minutes. I'll come back uh, tomorrow. I'm going to let it sit overnight in the press, cold. And we'll take a look at the book and see if we got that corner damage out of it. Hey, welcome back to my uh, very first pressing video. This is the second part. And uh, the book, uh, Chariot Number 1, has been in the press overnight. And I'm about to open it up and take a look. So let's see how we did. I'm gonna lift the handle up. So I'm going to take the first plate off. Turn it over, and the first level of SRP paper and the magazine board are off, and I'm going to grab the rest of the book here. Alright, so at first glance looks pretty good, pretty flat. Um, right there is that very specific spot I was trying to get out. Um, it's definitely flat, but you can still see the mark there. Um, so this is where I'm still learning. Uh, how to improve the process. Um, I think some sort of either spot humidifier uh, or uh, I don't necessarily think that needs to be in a full humidity bath, uh, but some sort of steam or even a spot pressing with a tack iron is, is going to be the way to go with that rather than a full press. 
The full press is fine, but I don't want to keep giving this book a full press over and over and over. Uh, again, I'm not using gloves, so don't hurt me, but the back looks really sharp, really clean. Again, that's just the one problem area. Um, great looking book otherwise. So I'm going to take it out of the sandwich very, very gently, just pulling out all the pieces. What I've noticed is, uh, especially with the moderns, you get a little bit of crunch action. It's a little crunchy. This one's okay. I think it's because it's been in the press overnight, but it's really sharp. It looks really great. Um, I'm trying to get better at the spine. I do get a little bit here throughout, up and down, where um, you can kind of tell it, it just doesn't look like a natural roll. So what I end up doing is, uh, if I'm pretty satisfied with the press, I'll actually put it in additional cold press. I'll show you in a second here, but really everything on the back looks nice. Um, it turned out pretty well, pretty happy. A uh, little bit there still, again, probably just some additional work that needs to be done. And that's really if I want a, a 9.8 out of this. You can see right there. Just uh, yeah, I'm being very, very particular, but that's probably still another pressable defect. That I'm not sure, right on the edge there. I'm trying to get an angle it so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. But in any case, a little bit there, uh, certainly down in that corner. But I mean, if I'm grading this just as is, I'm knocking it for that, I'm knocking it down to at least a 9.6, possibly a 9.4, because it might be a little chipping there. Um, and then certainly down there, like I said, that was the main uh, issue and area that I was trying to get out. It's better. It is better. It's improved. Um, is it still on every page? Yes, but not as bad. So I'm still looking like at an near mint minus uh, for this. Um, I mean, I don't think it's an 8.5, uh, so it's at least a 9, uh, which is, I think, just it's a slight improvement. I had this as about an 8 or an 8.5. I forget what I said originally on it, but, um, or maybe I had it as a little bit higher, but in any case, it's a great looking book. So what I'll do now, just, again, I'm not necessarily finished with this book, but I'm finished for now. Um, and I have a pressing board here from Immaculate Comics, and I'll just lay this down and put the additional clear cold press cutting mat and just kind of leave it in there for a little bit longer. Again, it needs a little bit more work, but that's essentially the process. So not bad, definitely feels sharper, cleaner, smoother, uh, but down there in that corner, obviously, uh, didn't turn out the way I wanted it to completely, but pretty happy with the press so far. I'm going to keep practicing, keep trying to improve the books, and uh, um, you can join me on this journey along the way as I learn how to press and all of the tips and techniques I pick up. I'll share them with you along the way. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting, and see you next time.